Hey guys, it's May May and I am so excited to tell you about this product that I found at Walmart yesterday. I want to open this package and show you. And it comes in this little package, just like that, but it's so glary. I'm going to take that off. This is made by Creative Essentials. It's three laminated burlap sheets, okay? And do you see this picture? I was like, no way you can do that, right? So let's just um, show you on the back side what it says. It says... Some printing restrictions reply, apply, but you can print from your printer. I know about the printing restrictions because mine just simply went straight in my machine and printed perfectly. Um, I'll put what kind of machine I use on the video. I don't remember what kind it is, but it, I just did, I couldn't believe that it printed like it did. I'm going to show you some stuff that it printed, but first let me show you this product. It's 100% jute, okay? You can scan this for project ideas. It's made by um, Springs Creative. And um, their website is springscreative.com. I don't know anything except I found it at Walmart. And let me show you this. This is the burlap side, the raw burlap. If you flip it over, this side has a sheen to it. See that? It's laminated to hold it in place, okay? You get three sheets and it's eight and a half by 11, so it'll fit through your printer. And let me just show you. Now, I'm going to do a project with you today using it, but I'm going to show you some stuff I've got for upcoming projects because I have gone crazy with it. Okay, the first thing I did was I went into my drawing program and I just sketched this just really quick. I found, that, I found something similar online and I don't like to take exact, I don't like to just copy and paste and use other people's stuff, so I just kind of get inspired by it. Um, so this is kind of what I did and it's a little nativity and I can't wait to use this in a way um, you'll see later. I also went in and searched public domain Christmas images, okay, so stuff that anybody could use, and I got this image. Now, I do not know the license of this image, so I'm not telling you to use it, especially to sell it. I don't think anyone would care if you printed this and used it in your house. I don't know, but it did come up under public domain images, okay? So look how this printed on this burlap. Watch this. See the texture? And it, there's no skips. That ink is solid. And to me, it gets darker as it sits because there's little snowflake drops in here you can't really see um, at first. And then it got darker as the ink kind of cured. And then I went into my graphics program and I created these myself. Um, this is a little gift. This is an ornament here. And then I did this little subway art to do in some projects coming up. So look at that. Even color. Even color prints amazing product. You want to hear the best part? This package with three pieces is $2.97 at Walmart. Cheap as dirt. Okay, today's project is going to be something for Thanksgiving because we're still doing Halloween and focusing on Thanksgiving things. So, first things first. I printed on here this. See where this says menu at the top and then at the bottom I put down here I put we are blessed to have you in our home. I'm going to now practice with you guys with me and see if I can cut it through my paper trimmer. Now here's the thing. I don't think I should try cutting on this side. I'm going to flip it over and cut on the other side. But you can see through it so that will help you in lining up you know your your cuts. And I really just want to make it straight because it's not extremely straight and I have a feeling it's not cut at the top portion but and that's something else I wanted to know was would it fray and it is fraying and I kind of like it frayed so we may do some of that hmm I kind of like the fraying let's see if we can cut on the front of it This blade is pretty sharp because I just replaced it, but you know how crappy this blade is, so I kind of like the look of that fray. Right, let's kind of straighten this one up. Hmm, I don't like the way that did, so let's trim that. If I'd turned it over, I was trying to cut it on the front side, but if I'd turned it over, it would have cut just fine because it didn't cut through the laminate part. And you can really rough those edges if it looks like. Y'all, I'm in love with this stuff. I'm just telling you the truth. 
I think it's amazing. I'm like, where have you been all my life? Oh, I'm going to turn it over. So I don't have to do that other stuff. So I bought some yesterday. The kids went, the, or Vince and Josh, only one kid, went to the ball game yesterday. And while they were gone, I was like, well, I'm just going to try this. Look how that frays that edge when you cut it from behind. I'm going to do that to the other side, too. But I was like, I'm just going to put it in the printer and see if it works. And sure enough, it's pretty wild the way it works. If you do this, you get that frayed edge. Y'all, come on now. Is it getting better than that? Let's fray the bottom. But we just learned how to make it fray. You just cut through the laminate and then pull. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. Okay, so there's that. Now then, one of the Sunday school, not Sunday school, but my RA um, teacher at church, she teaches the boys um, in Royal Ambassadors, her and her husband do as a tag team group. She, for Christmas, not this year, but last year, no, yeah, last year, <laughs> I mean Christmas already, she gave me a photo frame that had like a marker and you could write on it because there was a piece of glass over the picture. Well, that's what we're going to kind of do. And this is the frame that I have we're going to use. Now, it's big. I'm going to back out. This is a 12 by 12 frame and I got this at the thrift store and it was somebody's because they wrote some stuff on it here, um, but it was $2.99 at the thrift store. And this is one of those nice, you have to screw the uh, frame on and everything. So what I'm going to do is take this out. I'm just going to sit it kind of where it's not in your way. Now, put that aside. I don't like this piece, and I noticed that if I put this here, you can see through it. You can see where that is. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut a piece of paper to fit right on the back of this with just a tiny bit sticking out. And all I want this to do is be a backer for this sheet so that you can see the writing good, um, and it kind of gives an edge to the fray. Which is kind of cool. So I'm going to adhere that down. And I'm going to use Zip Dry because it's clear. And I just want to be safe with it. And because there will be glass over it, I'm really just using this to tack it in place. So I'm using very little. Because there will be a piece of glass holding this down. I love that. Now another thing I wanted to attempt before we work on this piece is doing, oh, my stuff's falling, <laughs> is doing a little inking around the edges. So I'm going to use some vintage photo because I think this will look really neat. And I'm going to use some scrap paper. And I'm going to kind of just see what we can do here. When I showed Vance, he was like, man, I bet that uses a lot of ink in the printer. But it comes out actually the same as paper, and it doesn't seem to stall or anything. It just goes about the same speed. I can tell you something I don't like is how much it sheds, I'm seeing. But y'all know me and shedding and glitter and things like that, so. <laughs> See? Ugh. But you have to expect that from burlap paper. And the other thing I like about it, which I was kind of surprised, is it doesn't have that chemical smell that most burlap has. I really thought it would, but it does not. I mean, not at all. So look how pretty that looks. I can't believe that. Okay. Now then, I'm going to use this piece to go into my frame. But I want some of, the, I want some of this mat that came in it to show because I think it looks pretty with it. And I think that's really going to be good. So that's not a 12 by 12 frame. That must be a 13 by 13 because this is a 12 by 12 piece of paper. So I'm just going to ATG it into place. You're going to want to try to get this right. The same all the way around. Take your time because this is a home deck project you can have for years to come. So there's one. And then I'm going to put this here. And you could do it like this, which would be super pretty too to do it sideways, but I'm going to do it straight up and down like that. I 
my gosh, it's so pretty, it's so pretty, it's so pretty. Okay. Then I'm going to bring this piece of glass back and sit that on top of it. <laughs> okay. Look how pretty. Okay. Then we'll put it back into the frame. And it just went straight into the frame. It's so pretty. The frame needs to be cleaned, I'm sure. Especially now I have my fingers all over it. And then I'm going to flip this over. This is one of those frames that goes like this. You slide this piece in. Oh my gosh, what an easy project. Then you want to put these in. And there you go. Now I know there's a glare on it right now, but you know, if you hold it up straight, there won't be. And I'm going to show you using my dry erase marker how this will work. You would say, um, menu. In my house, it's whatever's in the fridge. So there you go. Guys, I hope you try this stuff. I have so many more projects coming up with all those things I showed you, but they won't happen until November for our Christmas series because I'm finishing up um, Halloween and fall all the way through the end of October. So beautiful, easy project. Please go get some of this. It's amazing. And tell me what you think about it because I'm going to tell you something. This will be a stash product for me. I went back and bought four packs. They only had six on the shelf and I bought four of them. It's something I want to keep in my stash all the time. So let me know what you think about it if you get it. And um, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.